as soon as I heard the name, I knew I had to go and find him. Dracula has such an amazing connotation. So, two days ago, I got on a plane, flew internationally. We flew on another small plane. We spent um, a day in the car. We spent four hours, five hours yesterday hiking into the mountains. Last night was a cold, misty night with the mist rolling in over the mountains. This morning we set out early and we climbed and we climbed. We've just come at an amazing steep slope in t for meeting Dracula that I should wear something appropriate. So you see that I'm wearing my National Geographic black and here right in front of me is Dracula. It's not in flower. We're told that another hour's hike there are some Draculas in flower. We're in the cloud forest at um, above 2,000 meters, uh, 2,500 meters uh, in the Andes of Colombia. I'm out of breath because the air is so thin. But in these uh, wet forests, the trees are dripping with an extraordinary variety of, of orchids, some small, some large, some really bizarre including this Dracula. Oh, here we are. This was worth, this was worth the journey. This was her, worth, the, uh, worth the hike. Here's the Dracula. It's a spectacular orchid species. It's um, about half the size of the palm of my hand with these very, very long um, spines coming out of, the, uh, out of the flower. This is really one of the most extraordinary, the beautiful orchids I, I've ever seen. Uh, by diversity of the non Andes just violence. Now, if you think that I have totally lost my interest in birds, you're wrong. This area is also an extraordinary place for rare and endangered birds. There's 11 species of globally threatened birds in this region. And as you can see, so much of the landscape around it is degraded. In fact, it's terribly degraded with steep hillsides washing away in the very heavy rains that occur here. So what's at stake here is trying to restore a home for, for these threatened species of birds and mammals and flowers and orchids and Dracula. And here's somebody who is doing something about that. Stuart, so we're walking into a forest located behind the new cabin at La Mesenia Reserve. And we're going to walk through an area that six years ago was pasture land. So as we can see, uh, quickly uh, places can be recuperated. And the biodiversity within this forest is very special because we are finding lots of orchids. And we actually call this the, the orchid trail. So, um, you know, I think that this is a good example of, of what um, your project um, is, is all about and being able to recuperate uh, pasture land and convert it again into nice uh, forests. Thank you.